but we Matsura strongly believe that built-in mechanical accuracy always comes first when we talk about reliability and longevity. Yuto-san, we're here again together. I love spending time with you. You're more famous than I am by no even by such a large shot. So we get to talk about hand scraping today, right? Yes. Now, hand scraping is very cool to me because it's big pieces like I see over here and tiny, tiny areas here at Matt Sura that I see here. Can we talk about the concept of hand scraping and the deflection and the repeatability, reliability that goes into it and why we're actually doing it? Okay, so... There are a few reasons to do hand scraping for Matsura, and one of them is uh, to increase contact surface for vibration damping. So when we put uh, uh, two metal castings together like that, actually the mating surface is uh, very limited and not well balanced. Now in this situation, every time machine moves, it gives the stress to the area on the part. Eventually, the machine cannot maintain its accuracy. In the long run, it's not reliable anymore. Of course, there are many ways to compensate accuracy error using software or control function, but we Matsura strongly believe that built-in mechanical accuracy always comes first when we talk about reliability and longevity. That's why we take time to make sure it has a enough, in enough contact surface so that the machine is reliable enough for a long time. Yeah, and that long time is what we need when it comes to the investment of machines, the investment of our companies. Now, I saw them in the background over here, pick up that big piece and put it on. So real quick, if I could get my camera guy to come over here, because I think it's important that the audience can visually see what we're talking about as well. So if we could zoom in here and you see the small different changes in the, uh, I call it a painted area, but it's not really paint, right? And we're looking here and you see a little bit of silver. This is where some of the deflection is. This is where some of the accuracy is coming to play. And if we see what this young man's doing over here, he's taking the areas that are either sticking up a little bit more, because I'm not the expert here, these guys are, but sticking up a little bit more and they're leveling it out. And this will happen a couple times. So what's cool about that, in my opinion, yuro san mm -hmm. is this in Japan, it's pretty common to go, we have a really heavy part that's gonna lay on top of here. We want it to be accurate. But what sets you guys aside here at Matsura is the small stuff that's over here, right? And I know you want to talk about that yes. because we started on that first area of just a tiny, tiny piece. Mm -hmm. And now we have this area that's a tiny, tiny piece, but you guys take the time and dedication to make sure it's all being hand scraped, right? Yes, exactly. So the, our policy is we do hand scraping to all the areas we believe vibration could be transferred for longevity. So th this is actually a part of a uh, bold screw base. And uh, even do these tiny areas, we do hand scraping with our, our utmost care. And this creates, of course this takes time, but this definitely creates the quality of Matsura and make our machine more reliable with a longer life. And that's the, like you said, that's the quality of Matsura, right? Yeah. That's the innovation that goes into it. And that's what your customers receive every time they invest in a Matsura product, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And the one thing I want to mention here is if you take a look around, of course, the hand scraping is traditional technology for us. But we make sure this traditional technology is surely passed on to the next generation. And there, yeah, as again, you take a look around, you may find it that we have a young technician who do hand scraping here. So we keep our traditional technology and I can guarantee that we can continue working or we can continue making our reliable machine with hand scraping now and in the future as well. Absolutely well said, Yuto Sun. For everyone who's watching, this is hand scraping. I hope you were able to see some of the deviation in the parts itself and how it becomes a bit more perfect with every single bit or every single stroke as we see this young man working away at this piece. Uh, it makes sense to me, Yuto Sun. Thank you for sharing some of the secrets here at Matt Sarah with the global audience. They love learning a bit more about these beautiful blue machines. Thank you so much, Tony.